So let's kind of start off yeah. with the history. So wh where does it start from? Uh, Mr. Taby Kayla, I met him yesterday in a webinar. He's now, I think, 81 years old. Wow. Uh, and he in in he developed this model. So he, he's a psychologist. He's actually. a clinical. He is was a, cl a clinical psychologist. And what he detected are the so-called drivers from tran transactional mm -hmm. analysis. Mm -hmm. Be perfect. Uh, 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 so now I'm missing it. Uh, be perfect. Be strong. Uh, hurry up and things like that. So what did he detect? He observed his patients um, on a videotapes and he, what he detected are specific patterns of communication, okay. meaning what, a, a specific combination of words, tones, gestures, facial expressions uh, that, that shows you that the person within the next two or three seconds is going to be in a non-okay behavior. Okay. So he, what he detected is a, spe a specific complex of behavior, verbal and non-verbal, mm -hmm. that shows you that within the next moments, this person is going to be in a negative situation. Mm -hmm. So he can predict distress. Okay. Uwe, one of the reasons we invited you, uh, although we've already done some effort in the direction of personality uh, uh, traits and, and assessment, and we might do some in the future, what, what's kind of stuck out about PCM is that I thought it was a more pragmatic approach to it. it, it uh, uh, so most of these other personality types are all based on the, on the big five model. Um, let me just remind you, we did this last time, uh, which is based on, on, on personality traits, which is agreeableness, openness to experience, uh, neuroticism, conscientiousness, and extroversion. So these are basically almost all personality trait uh, uh, tests are based on some variation of what's called the big five. Now, what I liked about PCM, as I thought PCM is not a classical uh, personality trait. It goes further. It's more pragmatic. It's more about a tool that I can use on a daily basis. And yes. we're going to be looking at a bunch of different examples. So what I liked about it is PCM was one of the one of the few that goes into the psychological uh, trait uh, analysis that is not based on the on the big five and is more pragmatic. So um, let, let's talk a little bit about the the, the history of, of yeah. PCM. So um, how, how it started was uh, Dr. David Kaler, he's a clinical psychologist. He detected the so-called drivers uh, in transactional mm -hmm. analysis. Mm -hmm. uh, some of, uh, of you may, may heard them, be strong, please you, try hard, hurry up, um, and, and uh, be perfect, for instance. What is this, a driver? He observed his patients in clinical treatment situations. Mm -hmm. So he videotaped them and had a look at the videotapes. And what he detected and scientifically proved that there are unique co uh, combinations of words, tones, gestures, postures, and facial expressions mm -hmm. that people show for two or three seconds before they are going to be in a non-okay behavior. Is this like a micro-expression? Yeah, it's a little bit longer than a micro-expression. Okay. Micro-expressions are shorter yeah. and only visible in the face. Mm -hmm. uh, but the analogy is quite, oh, quite good because you, you can use it. So if you observe this, you can see, for instance, a specific situation like uh, uh, when I ask you the question, so what exactly, and I'm pointing out what you uh, said for after uh, uh, the meeting yesterday, is the reason why. Okay. So when I do it like this, mm -hmm. I exactly know this was a be perfect driver for you, so you have to be perfect for me. Mm -hmm. What I know is if you're not getting the, the correct connection, the right communication with me now, mm -hmm. you will get some sort of preaches, you will see my conviction, and I will wear some sort of an attacker mask to you okay. because you have the wrong values. So this so, is a de-stress. So what you're it. saying, it's a great mechanism to predict behavior in others. Behavior and de-stress. So with okay. PCM, you can predict. When you say de-stress, de which means you're trying to de-escalate the situation. No, de-stress, uh, de uh, meaning that it's, it's the negative side of your personality. Mm -hmm. So you show your character strength in the negative way. Okay. So for instance, if you are a, a person who is so quite logical. The person who's communicating is de-stressing or? or uh, yeah, I, I'm in a de-stressed uh, in a mood, I would say. Okay. So I expect you, for instance, to be perfect and give me the right answer. Okay. And if you're not doing it, I'm going to really tell you and okay. preach it to you. I will make a crusade. Okay. 
I'm I'm the classical DAO, the dumbest assumed user in all on my, all of my podcasts. So can we go back to those yeah. to those five different points and, yes. and give, can you give us a concrete example of what you mean with them? So what do you mean with this is part of the everybody's personality trait that they want to be strong? Is it kind of the the outward show that I'm sovereign, that I'm in control? Is that what be strong means? No, be strong is an inner attitude. Yeah. Uh, that can be seen outside with these five cues. Okay. So, for instance, if somebody shows this be strong driver, it's a, you know what, you're sitting here, listen to all the stuff and nothing happens. Okay. So then you know, oh, this person right now has is showing the be strong driver okay. and wanting other to do something. So it's kind of a it's a, a pushy communication model where I'm I'm asking you to to change your behavior. That's an example of be this strong. This is one this, yeah. this was one okay. example. Okay. And if you're trained in this and interpreting what you recognize as a communication, then you know which part of the personality this person is activating mm -hmm. and with, with which a uh, process of non okay behavior will follow okay so you can predict this okay so now the distinction between other models uh, is quite aware because you are observing communication mm -hmm. and that's why it's called communication model okay and if you see this kind of combination of uh, words tones gestures postures facial expressions then you know this part of the personality is mm -hmm. activated. So okay. you have a personality model mm -hmm. and you have a communication model. Okay. What because are, you cannot communicate without personality. Okay.